抱歉。Thanks, you too. I look like some crazy Harley Quinn, like Sailor Moon person. That's awesome. How are you? Good. I'm filming you. Hey guys, it's Brittany, and today's video is a very special video. Hashtag, I'll do the hashtag. Brittany Cat Sleepover. I'm here with my friend Paranormal Captivity. Hey, girl, hey, and it's recording this time. Hey. I've tried this twice already, guys, and it wasn't even recording on my phone to get her on the screen. So, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> whoop, whoop, and it's our sleepover, hey. So, we're gonna, you know, just have a sleepover. It's actually kind of funny, too, because I used to actually do sleepovers with my viewers on camera. I mean, like, film it, obviously, like, two years ago. I used to call it, like, sleepover parties, and I would tell ghost stories and stuff. So, yeah, so it's kind of like bringing back old times, good times. This is actually our first time meeting. You guys probably saw the clip at the beginning of this video when I showed you us meeting for the first time. So, we got our hair the same. <laughs> but Kat has her, um, her Annabelle doll. And I need mine. <laughs> I should have brought mine. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, guys, we are actually going to play some games and like there's so many games to play I was saying there's this one game called red rum and you're apparently supposed to say red rum three times in the mirror and a dead person is supposed to appear right beside you so you want to play red rum or what did you what do you want to play sandman I don't know, what do you because I have a mirror right here <laughs> And red rum spells murder backwards. So. Yes, from The Shining, right? The little boy. So on the count of three, we'll say red rum three times. You ready? Sounds good. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. And oh, and a dead person is supposed to appear beside us after we say it. Or somebody in the mirror is supposed to appear. Not Bloody Mary, but somebody. All right, ready? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. I don't see anybody. Do you see anybody? <laughs> we look like no, psychos. Like a reflection of my mirror. Oh my god! I don't see anybody. Like these games, oh, they never work. While we have the mirrors out, do you care if we try to play Bloody Mary? Because I've done it like a million times. I'll I'll my god, I love Bloody Mary, yes. My Bloody Mary girl's right behind me, too. <laughs> I showed you her. Okay, she can play too. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should. Should I get her? Oh my god, guys, look. Here's Bloody Mary. I like this two angle camera thing. This is cool. So, that's Bloody Mary right there in this camera. There she is in that camera. I don't know if you guys can see her. Maybe I'll just leave her uh, against my mirror. Okay. You're actually type of pixel monster. Can I call you right back? Yeah. <laughs> I like how every time we get on it again, we're just like staring at each other like, are you there? <laughs> It's so bad. Internet connection problem. What the heck? Girl, it, oh my god. Wait, it's red rum. It's the red rum effect. It's the red rum effect. Okay, I think it's a little better. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Okay. So you wanna do it now? Sure. Okay, I'm ready, girl. So it's all you. Good luck. It's all you. Oh no, we're both saying it. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll both say it. We'll both say it. I'm actually like freaked out. <laughs> my flame on my candle is going crazy. I mean, like, it could, I know, right? Do you see it? That's. Oh my god. It's the 
red rum fudge because in the video I watched she said that all the lights went out and like weird stuff was happening so it's weird because we lost internet can well I mean that could have been like anything but it's just like after I turned into a black eyed kid it got really bad after that you're completely frozen <laughs> oh my god what is it what if that's not even me you know you're probably not even talking to me that's probably it's not even me <laughs> What do you mean? What's it doing? What's it doing? Girl, it is. Oh my god. Red quit with our Who the heck is Red Rum, anyways? <laughs> Who is Red Rum? Your eyes just disappeared. <laughs> this is actually so funny. This is so funny. All right, guys, so now we are going to play Candy, or not Candy Man. <laughs> All right, you guys, so now we are about to play Sand Man. I've never played this in my life, so I have to lay on the floor, and Kat is going to tell me a creepy story. Oh, my God, you look like a black-eyed kid right now. <laughs> She looks like a black eyed kid. She's been looking like a black eyed kid all night. <laughs> what is that? She's so creepy. But so she's gonna tell me a story of what? How I got cut open? You'll hear the story. You just lay there and okay. after the story, you're gonna try and raise up and it's gonna feel a lot harder to do afterwards. Okay. So when I get up, I'm gonna feel like sand is all in my body and it's gonna be really heavy and hard for me to get up. So I'm gonna lie down. And then I'm going to have the story told to me. All right, I'm laying down. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Breath and you try with all your might to raise up and let 
Okay. <laughs> that was so easy. That was a good story. Were you reading off something or did you make that up? I just made it up. Holy crap. That was great. The whole time I'm like, what? The little girl, that was insane. I feel fine. Do I have to stand up? I'm standing up. I feel fine. Oh my god, I look scary. That was good. No, I feel good. I felt kind of good in my abs. Like, I did a little crunch. <laughs> so that was good. We're gonna have some more of my cream soda. Mm. Yeah. Yummy. Did you feel like your body was full of sand at all? Or were you just like, no, I'm good? I was, I was okay. I thought it was kind of just funny. I was kind of laughing down there <laughs> during the story. I'm like, whoa, this is a good one. The little girl, that was creepy. That's a cool story, though. It's fun. That's a cool game. Very cool game. You still look like a black-eyed kid. That's so creepy. You know what I feel like right now? I feel like we're in the haunted world of CW because you know how they're always <laughs> holding the cameras to each other like this? That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm Constance right now. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm like freaking obsessed with them. I love them so much. <laughs> they're so great. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so now we're going to do some random facts about each other. Is that what we're going to do? Because yeah. this is our first time meeting. Yeah. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Purple. How about you? Pink. Hot pink. How old were you when you started getting into creepy stuff? Oh my god. When I was born. When I was born. Honestly, I came out of my mom and I said... I like creepy stuff. <laughs> Honestly, like I, I've always been like this. How about you? Pretty much the same. Like mm -hmm. I remember, like talking about creepy stuff whenever I was like three years old. Yeah. And so like I know at least like that was like some of my earliest memories. Had yeah. So for those last few questions, or like the first few questions that we answered, I wasn't even recording on my phone, so you guys could see Cat on my screen, so now I'm recording. Sorry, girl. <laughs> but I was recording on that camera. So I was just holding my camera, like my phone up to you, and it wasn't even recording. No? But not yet. Oh my god. Okay. What? Amelia's about to fall. <laughs> She's hooked to this thing. She's about to fall. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Amelia, please. Fall, be funny. I know, please don't fall. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> What was your scariest paranormal experience? Um, when I was graduating high school, my aunt paid for me to go on vacation at their beach house in North Carolina with just me and my cousin at the beach house. And we wanted to scare ourselves on purpose, so we went to an antique store and we found pictures of who we thought would probably be dead people. And we bought like old items that we assumed belonged to old people. And then we got on my Ouija board and we tried to play, but it wouldn't move. And as soon as we started playing, like the lights shut off in the whole house, like all of the power. Oh my God. And I came back on and I said, well, if it was really something paranormal, it needs to do it again. And it did it instantly. And then it came back on and she was standing, like the way she was sitting, she could see the floor behind me. And she said she saw like a partially disembodied foot walk across the floor behind me and leave like a, like a sweaty footprint on the ground. Wow. And then after that, we left. We went to the ice cream shop and we saw the blinds lift up and slam down as we were going out the house. Oh my God. And when we came back, when we came back, we started just doing laundry and cleaning up. Mm -hmm. And we started hearing phantom music coming from the living room. <laughs> Out of nowhere, like we both were in there and it was loud, but it was inaudible and you couldn't hear what was being saying. Oh my and god. And then it just stopped, like all at once. And we were like, okay, this is too much. We just left. But it was like back to back to back activity. It was crazy. That's insane. Holy crap, yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Wow. So that's definitely the most like intense experience I've ever had. Wow. That's intense. That's really intense. <laughs> yeah. What about you? This happened when I was four. 
and I will not be able to like I can't explain it I don't even know it's so weird I saw a green hand I was sick one night I had like a fever or something so I wanted to sleep with my parents because like that's like what you do when you're little because I was like I was sick and I just I didn't know what was wrong with me Amelia's falling girl please don't fall <laughs> anyways so <laughs> in the middle of the night I I was awake and I saw a green hand come up to the side of my parents bed and I was sleeping on the side my mom slept on and it looked like an alien slash witch slash zombie monster like I don't even know and it had warts all over its hands and it just came up like this and it was moving its fingers and I had a Cabbage Patch doll with me so I dangled my, I don't know why I dangled my Cabbage Patch doll over the hand the hand was like almost playing with me and then it just went back down and I never saw it again and I'll never forget that ever it's actually kind of funny because I made a reenactment of it on my channel too it's called the tale of the green hand I reenacted exactly what happened <laughs> do you want to hear something really freaking freaky okay like I'm about, I'm about to blow your mind right now okay blow my mind okay I had a dream. Uh oh. And it was really weird. Okay. It was a work it was a work dream, like where you're going to work, but in this dream, I had these bumps on my hand. And every time I looked down at my hand, it would be different. And the bumps would be bigger or spreading. And then they were green. And the green started spreading down my hand. And then the next time I looked at it, it was like it was almost like shiny green makeup. Oh. And It's like this old winter scarf I have. Like, you should see it up there. It's so ratchet. The way I have her hanging. It's awful. Anyway, sorry. about um, shadow people thanks for shouting me out by the way <laughs> and oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you um, we were talking about the hat man too and I also mentioned this in my paranormal experiences video this was like three years ago when I made this but I like long story short I saw a man in my old basement like the house I grew up in and I was playing in the basement with my friend Rachel at the time I think it was Rachel and I saw a man with a hat around the furnace like peek around and he was taking his hat off and like kind of you know when you kind of like say hi or what's it called like they take your hat off to say hi and when I uploaded that video I never thought like oh it's the hat man or whatever but as I did research on the hat man later on on my channel I started thinking like holy crap did I see the hat man and a lot of my viewers have mentioned that too like maybe you saw the hat man I don't know like I just know that's what I saw and it, it's so weird it's so weird I don't know if my friends saw it though I, I don't remember and then another time I was with Rachel we saw a black figure in the forest and it chased us <laughs> it came after us yeah me and Rachel like we don't really talk anymore we have each other on Facebook but we were talking about it probably like two years ago she messaged me and she's like yo do you remember that black figure we saw in the forest yeah girl I don't know but this all happened I think when that happened I was about eight or seven. That's so crazy. I know. I, I, I don't know. Was it a shadow person? Alright guys, so that is the end of hashtag broody cat sleepover. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so if you want to check out Paranormal Captivity's channel, I will leave her link in the description box below so you can watch her play Bloody Mary on her channel for the first time ever. So I'm quite honored that you chose me. So that's, that's pretty cool to be the first. <laughs> 
And um, she also, we also played Sad Clown on her channel. I read the Sad Clown story to her, so she will let you know if she had the dream tomorrow or whenever, if you, whenever you sleep again, because it is kind of late, so we might, I don't know, I don't know when we're going to sleep again. <laughs> so I will leave her YouTube channel in the description box below, so make sure to check out her video and see her play those games. So thank you guys so much for watching once again. All of my links are right down there in the description box below, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat, even though I don't even snap. You rock my world in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Hashtag team birdie44. Hashtag Bro the Run. Hi. <laughs> it's so weird with you watching me. I'm just like hi. <laughs> Hashtag GAC notice Brittany. Well, they've noticed me like I told you, girl. They've noticed me, but they think I'm crazy. They I haven't actually said that, but I think they've seen me, but they think I'm like a nut job or something. <laughs> and yeah, hashtag GAC notice Brittany, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!